Have you ever been walking through a drugstore and noticed a shelf full of essential oils claiming to solve all of your problems? From stress relief to skin health to muscle aches, it seems like these oils are being used for just about everything. While you may be reasonably skeptical, there's actually a significant amount of research supporting the use of essential oils in certain aspects of human and animal health, specifically as antimicrobials. For my thesis project, I'm using various components of essential oils as an alternative treatment for a common disease in sheep and goats called caseous lymphadenitis, which I will be referring to as CL. CL is caused by a bacterium that infects the lymph nodes of these animals, resulting in the formation of abscesses. Um, these abscesses, um, once they rupture, will release the bacteria into the environment where they can infect new animals. Like many bacteria, CL has several protective mechanisms that help it survive in the animal and also in the environment. Um, um, once uh, after infection, um, the macrophages, uh, sorry, after infection, the immune system will recognize the bacteria and attack it with immune cells called macrophages, whose job is to ingest and break down foreign microbes. Um, um, however, CL has a protective coating made up of molecules called mycolic acids, which allow it to survive within the macrophages and replicate, further perpetuating the disease. This coating also protects it in the surrounding environment. In cool and damp conditions such as soil and bedding, CL can survive for over six months, awaiting its opportunity to infect a new host. Uh, for these reasons, CL is very difficult to eradicate from a farm and also very difficult to treat with antibiotics. This is where essential oils come in. There has been a significant amount of research showing that essential oils can inhibit the growth of bacteria, as well as several bacterial strains that are resistant to traditional antibiotic drugs. Finding an alternative to antibiotics is particularly important in our world today as the number of antibiotic resistant bacteria has been increasing over the past few decades and is expected to result in 10 million deaths per year by 2050. One of the common antibacterial mechanisms by these essential oil components is breaking down the bacterial cell wall, which is particularly useful in controlling CL as this is what makes the pathogen so resilient. Using essential oil components to control CL could have a significantly positive impact on the sheep and goat industry and sustainable agriculture. Thank you.